Good morning, investors and traders. In today's segment, we'll be focusing on the euro dollar and we'll be focusing on the price action in relation to what is really happening with with the price action. Are we going to see more higher highs or will we see more lower lows in terms of the price action? As always, it is important for me to go through this brief disclaimer. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with your own account managers. A bit about myself, my name is Naeem Masim. I work as a Chief Analyst for Avatrade. I come with a wealth of 15 years of trading experience. Here are our social media handles. and I do recommend you guys to follow us there as we do share important information throughout the day. Now, let me bring up the MT4 platform in front of you, and we're going to begin the conversation by looking at the uh, chart on the daily time frame. So here is a chart for the euro dollar, as you can see. So what we see from the price action, first of all, what we need to do is we need to delete these particular price lines because they do not represent any meaningful resistance zone so why don't we just adjust our our resistance zones first of all so our first meaningful resistance zone is going to be just right over here which is at a level of 1.07 1.0790 to 1.0743 and our support zone the first meaningful support zone is going to be right over here where the 200 day simple moving average is trading and that is 1.0210 1.0263 and that is where our important moving averages are trading so where are our important moving averages the one in green over here is your 200 day simple moving average this is your 100 and this one in pink is your 200 day simple moving average. The fact that the price over here, the 50 day simple moving average, has crossed above the 200 day simple moving average and it has crossed above the 50 day simple moving average as well represents or gives us an indication that the prices are likely to continue their journey to the upside. So we are likely to see more moves to the upside. So that means that this particular support zone or resistance zone, which we have mentioned over here, may not hold for longer. So that means that we need to have another resistance zone defined. And that resistance zone is going to be at 1.120 1.112 now because this is a resistance zone we are going to change the color of this one to red so we're going to right click and change the color from green to red right over here now as for the rsi you can clearly see from the chart that the rsi is very much trading in the sideways pattern and it is trading near its overbought area of 70. this means that we could potentially see a bit of a further retracement from where the price is trading currently it is trading at 1.05 so a further retracement for the price action could push the price right over here towards the bottom of this particular candle or for it could potentially push the price over here as well but the chances are that the price may actually revisit this particular area than anything else and this area may act as an area of support and this could be the area where we could see another bounce back towards that 1.07 sort of a price area so keep an eye on these particular price levels we'll be back with more analysis soon